This is the Retro Pi GI case, and with the power of a Raspberry Pi W, we can take this and make a games console powered by a Pi. Let's check it out. I've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole. It's been a long time since I really touched anything Raspberry Pi related. I was a big fan of the original Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi 2, um, and then I kind of was busy with life, I didn't really tinker with it anymore, and then the chip shortage happened, so couldn't really get hold of anything anyway, um, and it's kind of just faded out of my kind of view, I guess, if you like. But I was really looking at one of my um, little bits of electronics that I have here, the Badger, 2040, which uses a Raspberry Pi um, embedded chip as an e-ink badge. And I was thinking, well, actually, I haven't done a video on this. I haven't talked about this, so I needed to do that. And for the record, that will happen, just not yet. Uh, but that led me down a big rabbit hole, and basically, I bought some things. <laughs> so we're going to have a few videos around Raspberry Pi stuff and doing some pretty cool stuff. So for this first video, I wanted to have a look at building the games console because I saw this when I was kind of just searching some of these websites. And uh, if you know much about my channel, you know I love retro gaming. I love handheld retro gaming. And the idea of being able to basically have a, a Game Boy type clone that's powered by one of these is really appealing to me. It's also very interesting that the case supports all of the Raspberry Pi W computers. So this is the most powerful one available at the moment, but if there's a new one that has the same form factor, then it would be supported. So you could upgrade your games console, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that I was just fascinated by this specifically, is just how powerful it is. I did not anticipate that things had moved on as well as they had. I really hadn't been paying attention. So I feel like this is gonna make a really great handheld retro games console. So let's get it unboxed, let's get a look at it, and let's play some games. This is the GPI Case 2W uh, by Retroflag. And I must admit, I saw this on Amazon when I was just kind of scrolling around, and it looked really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's check this out, let's get it unboxed, and let's see what it's all about. As it says along the bottom, it's compatible with every type of Pi Zero, which is great to see. Um, there is some gubbins on the back. Yeah, the other thing I really liked about this is just the design, where basically you put the Pi inside a cartridge and then slot the cartridge in. It just kind of feels cool. And I guess in theory you could get more of these and then you could swap them out, uh, which is also kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of about it. We've got some specs on the side there. Good sized battery and a three inch LCD screen, so we'll have to check that out, see what that's like. And uh, yeah, that's about it on the sides of the case, so let's get it open. What do we have in here? So we've got a teeny tiny screwdriver, a, what looks like a USB to some sort of DC jack. I'm guessing this is for charging. Nothing else on that side, a oh, bit of packaging console itself and a little bit of paperwork yeah that kind of just shows you how to install and get things going on that that's kind of cool okay and uh, yep there is nothing else in the box so let's have a look at the console itself I did just <laughs> I really like this design I like the retro it's a lot smaller than the original Game Boy it's actually I think immediate impressions are it's quite comfortable. It's quite thick, which makes it really nice to hold in the hand. Some of these ones that have been this size or even smaller are really thin, and I get why they do that, but then it makes it really uncomfortable. You kind of have to hold it like in a claw grip, but this you can properly hold in your hand, and I like that. The buttons feel okay. The D-pad is very spongy, to be fair. The other buttons, not too bad. Better, but the D-pad is... Eh, could be more desirable, that's for sure. Um, anyway, let's have a look around it. So we have a port down here. I don't know if that's, yeah, that's our audio jack. 
we've got a volume rocker there. Along the top, we have our power switch. We have a, a DC power, so yeah, that's what this is for. And a contrast wheel, <laughs> ah, interesting. And then around the back, we actually have two um, trigger buttons here that are kind of hidden. Um, how does that feel in the hand? You know, it's not bad. They're not the most comfortable positions, but uh, you know, if you need your shoulder buttons, they are there. Um, presumably, yeah, this is where our battery is. And then this is this is kind of the thing I like the most is it looks like it's a normal cartridge, but then you lift it out and it's <laughs> it's the whole thing. And this is where you put your Pi. Uh, and then it's got its own like breakout pins uh, inside. I just think this is such a cool design. It could have been, you know, way simpler, but they've actually thought about this and they've actually kind of worked on it. And you've got a SD card slot. I'm going to have to see how that opens up. But yeah, I really like this design. It feels quite nice. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about it, really. It's good plastic. It's solid. It's got a good weight to it. I really like this. This, on first impressions, it's great. So just off screen, I was looking at it and I actually came apart. I realized that it's not screwed in. The screws are in here. So it just comes apart like that. Um, and you've got the little cap for the SD card slot as well. And then this is it. This is your kind of breakout board, if you like, that, which converts the pins on the Pi to this kind of breakout sl cartridge slot that they have. A little tiny micro USB port as well that needs to be plugged in. Um, and these are all squishy pogo pins. I like that. Uh, so literally, as far as I can tell, we take our Raspberry Pi, which is the um, 02W here, and uh, the newest model, which is in itself incredibly impressive, I have to say. Uh, like I kind of mentioned, I've been a bit out of touch with the whole Pi world for a while, um, but this is a quad-core 64-bit ARM processor clocked at 1 gigahertz with 512 megabytes of SD RAM and built-in Wi-Fi. It's basically a full-size Raspberry Pi 3, just shrunk down into a much smaller form factor, and that's really impressive. Uh, and certainly when I was using the 1 and 2, uh, they were always pretty decent, actually, at emulation, even back then. So this, I think, is going to do a very good job. There you put that connector inside there. And then that just kind of rests on those pins. And then all the threads line up so you'll be able to screw it in properly into the case. I will say that the destructions are pretty terrible, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these. Maybe I'm reading them wrong, but they don't do a very good job. Nonetheless, we can figure it out. So we then need to pop that in that way around. That then goes through the hole, the holes on the Pi and lines up the SD card slot quite nicely. Oh, it's a tight fit, but that's kind of non-surprising. Uh, okay, there we go. And then those then you see line up on there and the pins are all touching. That's where the SD card is. Everything's good. So then we need to put this on as well. And that kind of just does just clip everything into place. And then we can screw it down. And there we go. And then the cartridge literally just slots into the back there. So next up, need to get the SD card sorted. So in terms of an OS and all that sort of stuff, we'll be using uh, Recalbox, which is kind of the recommended OS by the manufacturer of the case. Uh, it kind of pre is pre-configured to work with this and have video out across the pins instead of HDMI and all the other bits that kind of work for this. So we're going to go down that route and um, you can actually do the image flashing through the Raspberry Pi image software, which is kind of nice as well. So super easy, we'll get that flashed and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Some time later. And just like that, it is flashed and ready to go. I have to say the Raspberry Pi image flasher thing, very easy to use. I'm the kind of person that would normally just use something like DD to flash SD cards, but it works very well and it kind of gives you a good selection of operating systems just to pick from within the application. Highly recommend it. Anyway, well, let's get this installed. So in theory, this just, maybe it'll be easier if we remove that. 
There we go. We got there in the end. Not the uh, easiest to get out, but nonetheless, there we go. And I think it's going to go in that way round. Maybe so. Not sure. We'll see. <laughs> Should have probably tried this before I put it in here. But anyway, there we go. Let's give it a go. So plug that back in and power it on. All that power switch is a little tough. Plugged it into power. Um, really would have preferred this just to be a USB. Kind of hate that it's a DC jack that I've now got to try and keep an eye on and not lose the cable. Yeah, that's annoying. But anyway, we are booted up um, and we are into the kind of welcome screen, I guess, for recal box. I will say first impressions, the screen is pretty nice. It's very clear. It's a good size. Oh, I think it was just doing stuff um, and still installing. There we go. We are straight in, um, which is a nice interface. I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> okay, well, first impressions, very smooth, lovely screen, nice interface. Let's get some games on here and get everything set up, and I will be back with you shortly. It's all set up now, uh, connected to the Wi-Fi, downloaded some of my ROMs from my collection, and yeah, process is pretty smooth. I will say I took the back off and did reseat it in the case. It's still not perfect, but I think it is a little bit better now. Uh, but yeah, this screen is quite nice. It's a little on the dull side. The camera's not really showing that, but it could be brighter. Uh, and I can't really find any way to control the brightness, but there we go. Uh, so yeah, this is the kind of menu that you have. And of course, there's lots of different themes and stuff you can install. So let's get into some games, uh, do a bit of gameplay, and then I'll give my final thoughts on this case slash pie combo. Um, yeah. Let's get into it. There we have it. That is the Retroflag GPI case. I mean, it's a bit more than just the case, but that is um, the screen, battery, and everything else as well. And yeah, I'm really quite impressed with it. It's, it's something I think I will be keeping and kind of in my collection as another handheld to use. I really like the idea of being able to upgrade it when there's a new Raspberry Pi out and perhaps even pushing it to run a few higher kind of emulations. One thing I did forget to mention is that there is a way to control the brightness. It's what they've labeled the contrast here, and it kind of changes it by a few steps. It's not super amazing, but it is useful. At least there's not, there is a way to preserve the battery life a little bit there. Um, but yeah, really, really big fan of this. Uh, if I had to kind of 
come up with any reasons that I don't like it. It's got to be that DC charger. I really don't like that. <laughs> just give me USB. I now have to try and look after this random cable when uh, just use USB-C. Why not? Uh, but other than that, uh, it's solid. It's well made. It's kind of, I think, a really well um, done representation of the original Game Boy. A little bit smaller. I think in my hands, it's not the most comfortable, but I do have massive hands um, and it's certainly more comfortable than some of the retro consoles I've used in the past. So overall, yeah, really impressed with that and uh, I could definitely recommend it if you're looking for something like that. I think it's kind of fun uh, and uh, it's just a good twist on these retro handhelds. All right, we are gonna wrap it up there for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know I've enjoyed my descent into the Pi world and this is definitely not the last video in this space. I have a lot more coming, so make sure to look out for that. And if you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon for another video. Bye for now.